Oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting one. So um we're gonna start with um actually Tessin um booting up their um little laptop and record a video, but they're a lot younger actually, mm -hmm. and they're like, Hi, my name's Tessin and um I'm going into university to become a navy man. Um I'm really good at mechanic skills. My dad said that I'm a bit of a sun child. <laughs> um he told me to make like a kind of video diary to record my whole progress. So um, I'm going to do this. I'll remate back to you when I can. <laughs> you guys a salute, and then it goes to another one. And it's like, so I'm in the Navy now. And um, it seems like a lot of stuff is going on. But um, they said um, I passed my exam. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing great. Um, but dad wasn't around to see it. Don't know where he is, actually. Hope he's doing all right. Um, log 58 going out. Hope things get better. And this log ends as well. And then it goes to test and distraught and everything in a hospital and said, so um, I, I got the mission because of a mistake that was in the engine room. I, um, <laughs> I just, I, they, I had to take the blame for it because I was the only one there. I would say that I didn't lose anything of my pride, but my leg's also gone. And um yeah, it's um it's a lot. You know, dad still didn't show up, apparently, even when I'm in the hospital. Apparently, Ma says that he's too busy in the naval quadrants of H25H, where the fuck that is. I'm not going to just fuck this. And she just signs off. And then it goes to the latest one. And she's just there, drawing on in the um, outskirts of like this trading part in the alleyways. And she's just like, this is Tessin recording one of my new journal log. My dad's been dead for 10 years now. He never really was a great dad, but he always told me the Try and keep logs about everything's happening. So here I am. Tessin in Carvel, ex Navy man, former scout of a rambunctious run of little assholes that I would call family, <laughs> and now apparently a fucking traveler on an abandoned planet that I don't want to be on when the revolutionary starts. But good for me, we finally found a buster or as other people call it, a BNX-57, if you know your fucking terms of ships. And I'm with some people. I know you're looking at these, by the way, too. So um, I'm going to make a shirt. When you find this, I'll be off this planet. And when I'm off it, just know you'll never find me again. Because if we meet again, I'll fucking kill you. You ruined my life. And after I get this job done, I hope with everything I pray that you die in a crater ass fire. Bye, Barkin. Hope to never fucking meet your face again. Testing out for one last time. I'll let me get this fucking laboratory mission out of the way. And she just shuts the pure around with the message saying, received, sent to be. Okay. <laughs> um, so you have uh, procured a ship, um, <clears throat> or you have a somebody who is willing to take you on as crew, right? And um, one of the uh, the caveats of that being that they want to go investigate the high wind facility that's linked to um this like genetic testing stuff um they're working on like uh, designer viruses and stuff um uh like viruses that actually change people's dna and they're doing all kinds of weird genetic research that's kind of like on the the fringe of what's actually legal inside um 
this area of space where you are. And um, so you have all been sort of like researching this station, right? And sort of plotting and planning like how you're going to um, get on to here, right? And then you kind of came up with the idea of using some, uh, like getting some uniforms and stuff, right? Like being um, part of the, the maintenance crew. Yeah, uh, we were thinking about uh, finding some official Astrogen maintenance crew uh, attire. Yeah, and I think that your your contact or one of your contacts in uh, Dragonfly managed to get you some fake credentials saying that you work there. Okay. Hooked you up with some some good new computers and stuff. Uh, Yeah, my my fake idea is going to be Lionel uh, Brandt. Lionel Brandt is going to be a new employee of Astrogen. Cannot wait to start my work shift on the Tailwind station. Um, there's definitely nothing shady going on around here. I'm going to be leaving my um, uh, cape and uh, hoodie back. Uh, on the ship and um, yeah, put a big smile for the corporation. Uh, right. So um, yeah. Um, so you get contacted by your like a shady pirate um friend <laughs> and she tells you to meet her down on the docks to to head to the um uh the the low port and um i'm gonna get you on a um on the ship and introduce you to the rest of the crew um before you head towards the uh the high wind facility Sounds pretty good. And um, she, um, oh shoot, what did we, I'm drawing a blank. What did we say her name was? I forgot. Was it Jillian? <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, sorry. Forgetting my own, my own NPCs. The, uh, yeah, Jillian. <laughs> um, so yeah, she or sorry, Jala, Jala, Jala Takai. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, you you got a ping on your intergalactic Discord account. Uh, right, right. Um, oh, she's there. It's just she. I just I just didn't I didn't scroll down far enough in my in my NPCs. <laughs> um. So yeah, she you know she gives you the uh, you get the message to meet her at the uh, the low port, and um, as you're all like at the low port, um, you do see like there is a lot more um, of the uh, people like Tessin um, or people like um, uh, Humanzies and um, like. Uh, different kinds of like uh races where they are they're lifted animals you know um like they're um like he, have human dna and like animal dna like mixed together and there's a lot of them kind of working down here on the docks so yeah um tessin does not stick out quite so much with the um the prosthetic leg <laughs> at least and the mechanic clothes finally some people that look like me thank god <laughs> yeah and um yeah so you see jala and uh 
and she's you know she kind of waves you over and um and then you see like a few more like crew and kind of um hanging around a um um a fast merchant like a uh, a far trader that is basically a kind of like a a sports car of a um like a trader ship but it's also sort of known for like being associated with like smuggling or um you know uh some of that kind of stuff too but it's a uh, yeah it's a zunsu fast merchant ship um and uh she kind of waves you over and uh and then there's you know there's a few a few more people like standing around um and then one of the um there's a a young a young woman who like not you know kind of small um young like maybe like 25 like around there and um small like a like a sort of asian descent looking woman and she walks up to you and she introduces herself to each one of you. She says, hello, you know, I'm May. Um, uh, and uh, this is my ship. And um, we're going to get we're we're going to be going to the high one facility. And uh, Jala has told me everything that's that's happened. Um, welcome aboard. And uh, and, you know, um, like you kind of get the impression that she maybe knows like a little bit of like what has happened with you guys just from like the way that she's acting, like the way that, she, you know, she's like, will get you sort of like looking over her shoulder, you know, like looking to see if anybody's watching as you're all getting on her ship, you know? Yeah. Uh, Tess is just like, um, admiring the ship and actually like you know running her hands on it and everything and she's like oh a per engine a self inclusion fuse is that an AK-48 a driver oh bless my heart I'm in heaven you've been taking good care of the thing right giving it enough um energy fuel and electrons and keep it and going transition if not I'll be very angry yeah and May is like and she's like, oh, oh yeah, it's it's in t- it's like this is my baby. Uh and she kind of like does the same thing, like sort of running her fingers, you know, across like the like the shiny, shiny parts and stuff, like, you know, this is, this is my baby. Um, I was a, I was about to say I I caption, but seeing this scene, Lucas is just going to go straight into the ship. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. pat everyone and be like. Yeah, no. Tessa just um bops her hand on it and says, Well, consider us now co-parents of this thing. And nice to meet your wife. See you in the ship. Right. Tessa just salutes and gets in the ship. Yeah. Um, and actually anybody who wants to, you can give me um I think an an education role. Or or um yeah, I think it would be education. Um, that's the seven on me. All right. Education. Sorry, I had to log into uh roll 20 there. <laughs> I see two ones there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, education, any modifiers? Um, I would say, okay, well, hang on. So it's kind of like related to the ship and um mm-hmm. mm, well, I guess you could maybe t- you could maybe do a mechanic role too. Um, I mean, I'm definitely better at that. <laughs> I could try that. Okay. Um, oh, I get a bonus for this because it's chips. So yeah, I definitely yeah. do that. Just, just because like... Um, 
Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. That's pretty good. So that's like a crit. Um, basically, you know, that, um, this, this ship is built by the Zaibatsu consortium, or it's like, it's like a group of, um, industrialists and specifically, um, it's made by the Sato family. And you know that that is May Sato. <laughs> um, she's like an heiress. And she is like a direct heiress to whoever like makes this ship, the the family. And she's kind of like a social media, like she um uh she like does like, I don't know, like space to gram, you know, and like posts and stuff. And so like you've seen her before. You know who this is. Yeah. Yeah, um Tessa goes why when she realizes who the fuck she is talking about, it's like, holy shit, I just said I'm the wife of that bitch. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> because that's just like, oh, I think I just made a really bad first impression. <laughs> yeah, but she's like a um like sort of like a wealthy um like an heiress, you know, to the to the Sato family. And they're like a group of industrialists. And one of the things that they build is spaceships. Um so yeah, as you um as you get, you know, aboard the ship and they're kind of hurrying you on, you know, like, uh, like Shala is like, okay, okay, everybody, you know, like, let's go get on the ship, you know, everybody on the bus. Um, I'm inside. I'm just waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. And, um, like it is, I mean, it is in like tip top shape. Actually, if you're looking at the ship and you're like, dude, you know, you're like, okay, yeah, they definitely been doing their scheduled maintenance you know like this thing looks like almost brand new and i mean it is like a few years old but it's like in perfect condition um and you know maybe even has some some upgrades or something uh and uh so you all get boarded onto the ship and um they enter in all the codes and everything and then you get your clearance and um it take off for the high port and um jala is pipes up and she's like okay so we uh we we we're thinking um we got a little plan a little plan together uh, we're gonna get you onto the station and uh Miss uh, Miss May Miss Sato, she has a meeting with uh, with the, the the big bosses on the station. But you you're gonna go in you're gonna go in on your own, all by yourselves. You're gonna take a shuttle from the high port, and you're gonna suit up. You're gonna wear your 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 uniforms, wear the jumpsuits. We get you looking like uh, like the maintenance crew. And uh, and then um, we get you on, and then I have something planned. I have a little distraction planned. And she does this like kind of in secret. Like May is like mm. over by the, mm. you know, the controls and stuff. Like looking mm. at the the flight plan and stuff. And then she's like, you know, like kind of pulling you aside. Like I got a little surprise <laughs> planned. <laughs> Well, I can't say I don't mind surprises. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but the ride, yeah, the ride up to the high port, kind of uneventful. You know, it's just it doesn't it doesn't even really take that long. It only takes like, you know, fifteen like maybe half hour tops to get up to the high port and it's a you know it's a pretty big station um there's you know a big um uh what would you call it um there's a big um coalition presence here um like the area of uh in space where you are there's like this is a strategic you know, like the um, 
the uh, the stuff that gets manufactured here, and they you know they repair like navy ships and stuff, and um, it's like a this is a, a strategic location, but you see like tons of um, like enlisted personnel kind of like doing their thing in the high port, like marching around, you know, or like hanging around the, um, the like restaurants and bars and stuff. And so there's, there is a, like a union a shipyard that's connected to the high port. I'm sorry, not, not union, um, uh, coalition. Yeah. There's a coalition, um, shipyard that's connected to the high port. Um, and, uh, and then Jala, you know, she's like, she's like, yeah, yeah, you three, you three, you come, you come with me. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get you, get you a new job, new job to do. Uh, and, um, and kind of like, I looks at this. you, well, Tessin, like looks at your leg and then looks up, looks up at your face and like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure how y'all are gonna fix this. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, um, are you guys trying to blend in at all? Or are you kind of just trying to like look at like you're part of a crew? Because there was kind of like an APB put out on you. The only thing I can try and figure out is like um, if I can get a silicone sleeve to put over my legs so I can pull my pants down so it doesn't get stuck under there. But that's mm -hmm. if I can get one. Well, like, okay, so if you have, if you want to, you could wear back suits and you would, you would blend in just fine mm -hmm. because there's plenty of people that are just walking around like belters, you know, where they have like their, maybe their helmet off, but they're walking around in their back suit, you know? Or, um, yeah, yeah, and then like plenty of people that are wearing just like kind of overalls, you know, like jumpsuits mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. like um, you know, like they're working. Yeah, um, I, I can do the, the back suit, uh, I'll with the helmet off. What I'll do is, um, uh, just a temporary hair dye, um, uh, and then, um, put in a hair extension since she has short hair. So it changes the, the outline of her face. As Tessa will put on her uh, mechanic vac suit and just um, get grease and just put it in their hair to make it flop down. <laughs> That's all she can really do. <laughs> yeah. And like, what okay, is, so sorry. Well, they didn't, they didn't, there's no APB necessarily. It's mm -hmm. just that you were like, you were on the news. Persons of interest. And they had like crappy sketches of you. And they're like, Two, you know, th three humans and one Oslan with a metal leg, you know, and you're like, oh crap, you know, <laughs> uh, like Mel is like, like, yeah, that's me, um, or Tessin, sorry. Um, what's Tessin so, calling? Uh, okay, so if you're all, calling? if you're all wearing back suits, that's mm -hmm. fine. Um, and uh, and then um, Jala is kind of dragging you along. You know, and um, heads over to like um, you know one of the one of the docks, and like starts talking to a dock worker, and uh, and then you know like like come on like come come over here, um, and uh, and then they have the jumpsuits, you know that say like um, estrogen on them like that fell off the back of a a shuttle mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah i'll slide where in one of those yeah, since... look, look i'm with the astrolonans or whatever they're called now <laughs> yeah. uh what i'll do is uh uh i'm assuming that on Back, back suits, stuff like that. They a lot of these things they don't use in border anymore. So I'll do like a, a I'll do a, a thermal thing of um stick on thing with all of our names. Yeah, sure. Like them. if you 
yeah, just like show your credentials or whatever, or you have your like patches and stuff that say estrogen, you know, yeah. like, mm-hmm. um, and so, um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to make you, I'm, I just want, I just want to know like what kind of how you guys look and like, if you're, if you are wearing your vac suits, it'll come up later, but, um, the, uh, uh, and then, you know, like a jaw, like again, like just kind of yanking you guys around, like mm-hmm. through this, this station, um, like, uh, sort of points at like a, a shuttle, you know, and she's like, she's like over there, that's where you're going to get on that bus. You're going to go over to the station. You're going to go to the high wind port, high wind facility. You're going to take a look around, see what you find. And then, uh, and then we're going to come get you. It'd be, it's, they, they get the, they get the, the meeting with the boss mangs and then, uh, and then everybody, everybody go home and, uh, we have a big party, right? As long as you're paying for drinks. Yeah. Hi, hi, boss. Yeah. Um, so if you, um, the, and then she like gives you, you know, she tells you to like be over there at a certain time okay. and then it breaks, you know, like splits and then sort of just leaves you, um, like at this, this area of the, you know, of the mm-hmm. port. Um, but you have a little bit of time to kill. Mm-hmm. Like you see, like there's people that are dressed just like you. And then they're all just kind of like hanging around, um, like talking to each other and stuff. Uh, it's like they look like a sort of like baggage handlers, you know, like at the mm-hmm. like if you go to the airport, they're like just kind of hanging yeah. out, like talking to each other, like waiting for mm-hmm. the next train to come by or whatever. So are there people uh, that also want to uh, that are also working for estrogen looking around people that are actually prepared to go to the same station? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm curious just I don't want to attract attention on myself I just want to eavesdrop a little bit like how are they talking um, can I kind of gauge if there are people that have more experience like some old electricians what kind of jargon they use do they use jargon or are they tired of this company are they brainwashed by this company to be like, like basically I want to be as close to these people act wise uh, because uh, I'm pretty good at disguises and one of the best disguises is pretty much having a similar behavior to people usually around. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm just going to observe. I'm not going to uh, enter conversations. Mm-hmm. I want to see the level of education, uh, mm-hmm. anything that comes uh, in front, uh, everything that comes into attention, or it's pretty standard stuff, uh, blue collar stuff. Um, yeah, it's more like kind of blue collar stuff. Like they're actually, um, they're talking about um, hunters killers. Like they're talking, like they're talking about these. Um, some of these games, you know, like, um, uh, like betting on like races and stuff. And like, there's like entertainment stuff that's like coming up. Mm-hmm. And then like, there's, there's a group that like, they're like, yeah, man. It's like, did you hear about, um, all those guys from the rebellion? Um, like the, 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 the uprising, like they're going to be on, um, they're going to be on hunters killers, like the next hunters killers. And like I got my bets on, you know, like late on uh, Athena, and um, like uh, the uh, like laser beam, you know, like they have like these weird, like like talking about um, like their favorite gladiator or yeah, whatever. And these are the, the the hunters, right? That they're talking about their favorite hunters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh-huh. um, like um, the the different. Um, 
like some of like the different characters, like the gladiators, I guess, like the they have different sponsors from like the different arcologies. And like Athena is like one of the big, she's like a big, you know, um big like star. And sh- her her sponsor arcology is Olympus arcology. And then like the one one of the ones from um from uh what's it called um from your arcology greenville you know is um uh what's her name hang on or or i gotta i gotta find this grass lady to be in team no it's uh poison yeah it's poison poison Um, ivy okay yeah her name is is poison yeah like poison ivy and um she's uh a part of the um black widows (laughs) yep just um, just uh, like in the background, just golf is like, bad not Athena. Ever been best on Athena? No one ever bets on skinny. You always have to bet on the underdogs. Yeah, like Athena is like the, the like leading bet, you know, or whatever. Who for who's gonna get like the most kills? <laughs> just the only thing Tessin cares about the fucking games. <laughs> it's like now I'm passionate. No, no, no. They're listen. Athena's gonna lose from skinny. Their dog always wins in the end. <laughs> yeah and the, but they're all like talking about the different gangs like they're they're talking about like you know like no man shadow like shadow he's gonna he's like he's gonna rack up so many kills man i can't like i can't wait for the next um hundred killers you know um but uh but yeah like they're actually like talking about everything but work like they're talking about understandable yeah Yeah. (laughs) um but i think like maybe maybe you do get like one guy where he's like he's like yeah you know like i i talked to like 10 different people up there and and i swear if i had to if i have to spend three hours doing this just going up to the station just to turn something on and off again because the you know like the somebody didn't didn't check that you know like i'm gonna be so pissed like that one IT guy, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, I, that one IT guy, I'm also going to use this opportunity to um, uh, kind of uh, put a little bit of seed of conflict uh, to steer the pot and be like, and they probably are disrespectful, the employers. Uh, are they talking from, you know, from their high horse or something like that? Uh, to the workers or uh, anything like that are they disrespectful or uh, or are, are they you like good employee uh, good employers are are you like being like the new guy like hey how do you like working for these guys like how do they treat you or yeah yeah um yeah i mean i think like maybe the guy who's like complaining you know mm-hmm. he's like he's like they're 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 idiots you know they're all they're all idiots like they're a bunch of eggheads you know like they know everything about science but they don't know they have no damn like common they have sense no soul. they have no soul they don't know what to how to speak to their colleagues yeah i feel yeah like... and, uh, and it's, he like I introduces trying to the same himself. all over yeah yeah and he's like he like introduces himself and he's like I'm Leon. What's your name? Oh, my name is Lionel. Nice to meet you, Leon. <laughs> He's like, oh, cool. Good to good to meet you, man. Yeah, you seem like a good guy. Um, uh, Andre. Yeah, I'm Andre. Yeah, I, that's uh, I have the same thing. It's like they're the same all over. No matter everywhere you go, they got these high degrees, get all this money, and they don't know basic stuff. Never figured it out. Um, I'm Lynn's and Erlon, and I totally agree with you. People just don't use common sense in the days. Always do science and mumbo jumbo to figure things out. I remember back in my day when you had to use your actual fists to solve problems. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, I don't know how they have so many, so many scientists up there, you know, but but nobody knows how to like do like this thing and like maybe you know what he's talking about maybe you don't but it's like has to do with like the um 
like one of the servers, you know, or something like, yeah. like there's not, not, you know, not pre pretend that we know what they're talking about. Yeah. 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 But it's like, it's a bunch of jargon, like. Uh, Anna know. does know what he's talking about. If you're thinking of yeah. computers. <laughs> so maybe you do know, maybe you do know, but it's like, it, it literally is like one of those things where you could just switch it on and off again and see if mm -hmm. it works. And then like, you know, I don't know, it could work or it could be need to be replaced. Um, but just, if you're like just, just looks at, uh, just, just looks at Anna and just says, you know, I like these guys. They actually make sense, unlike most people. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, the, uh, all their science and to them, the technology is like is magic, you know. <laughs> Before before we go, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this guy a beer just out yeah. of camaraderie, and we have to buy some alcohol in order to be actual maintenance workers. We need to have alcohol on us when we get on the station. Uh, something like a small beer <laughs> to each yeah, other. Yeah. Uh, sure. And also. Uh, Are the people around clean, or are they stained with oil or something like that? Or um, how new are their uniforms? Um, uh, some of them, like if you're, you know, if you're just hanging around, like it's like you're waiting mm -hmm. for a while, like waiting for more people to show up for like the next shuttle or whatever. You do see some people that look more like scientists. You know, and yeah, then they're yeah, wearing white like, colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're wearing like lab coat, kind of more, you know, more appropriate stuff for like a scientific facility. And then there's other people that look way more like kind of like blue collar, like they're um, you know, mechanics yeah. or yeah. whatever. Um do, do they have like name tags or do they um yeah, in other words, I'm yeah. Well, yeah, they have like some of the um like the scientists, you know, mm -hmm. they have like um lanyards, you know, or whatever, yeah. or like some right. kind of a, mm -hmm. and then it looks like some of them uh like even have like some kind of clearance, you know, or whatever, like mm -hmm. top secret whatever mm -hmm. clearance. Mm -hmm. We'll have that like a picture name and like what department, that sort of thing like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna see. Gonna see if I can. Uh, anyone that gets wonders close enough, I'm gonna see if I can take note of it. Does it fall under recon, or what would that fall under? Yeah. Um. Well. Okay. Are you? So, what are you trying to do, uh, though? Are you just trying oh, to? Oh, I'm a just. Look? Yeah, I'm just trying to 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 to, uh, to, to get a look. You know, uh, I'm gathering but you're information. Not trying to, like, yeah, you're not trying to like spoof their their information or, or like get like passcodes or something no 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 all i'm trying to do is see okay uh what department i mean just this uh, the sure name uh, department names on the badges is, and stuff like that should tell us something about the station yeah right so scientists just like you know um uh you know, they lab uh, I might just say lab so and so, but it might be say lab, and then say what the lab uh, gives something about what the lab does. Just any information I can glean off the badge is just from a glance. Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah, I think that would be recon. Yeah. Also, uh, and, um, yeah, I'm just assuming that you like um that you kind of like have um badges that go along with your respective oh yeah yeah, yeah no problem yeah, I, yeah. um but sorry you, you yeah this is a really good role um yeah. so but i'm just assuming that you're all dressed like dress the part where it's like i'm a mechanic i I'm, yeah. I'm it you know or whatever mm -hmm. yeah um and um you do see that like uh some of these people you know they're wearing the like it says like research or it says like, like um you know uh 
whatever, like, um, what am I thinking of? Um, you see that there are, there are people that look like where it's like, it says that they basically, they work with animals, you know, or, um, like there's different, like different groups. Um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get into. Uh, yeah, or like violence. virology, you know, or, or, um, but, um, but it looks like there are like, like one thing that kind of stands out is like, there's, it looks like there's people that specifically work with animals. Okay. Well, but yeah, that's what I was trying to get. Cause a lot of times just the, the sure stuff that's on the badges for their, you know, will tell you something about what sort of facility it is and what they're, what some of the departments are working on. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, um, I'm just going to kind of fast forward a little bit. Like, you guys get a beer, <laughs> you kind of look around a little bit, you know, like get a feel for it. Like, if you're hanging around with this group that's getting ready to get on this shuttle to go over, you're like checking out who they are like making a mental note of which department they work in and stuff like that. Maybe like introducing yourselves like, Hey, I just started, you know, or whatever. Like I, uh, I'm in the, um, whichever, like this group. Um, but the, uh, the definitely, um, just talking to them about like the illegalities of the fact that they are just completely wrong betting on Athena and you should always bet on skinny. The underdogs always win in the end. And it's like it's truly like it's a preset plan. Come on, guys, get with the program. Trying to like tell them just bet on skinny. I swear it will work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you don't you don't understand. Like the little skinny guy, he has stamina. Like he can run faster than everybody else. And like, you know, um <laughs> like just 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 give him a shotgun and he'll 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 yeah. The odds are against him. And um but uh so everybody gets on to this shuttle, right? Um, and uh, they start heading over. And um, and then once you start to, like, you get into space, you know, and then you start, you leave the high port, and then you're heading, you know, away from the high port towards the the high wind facility, right? And um, it's a separate like research ship. Um, and it has a, like a, a big spinning like wagon wheel kind of thing um, that sort of like you would guess like simulates gravity, you know? And then there's like um, different kind of like modules that attach to the ring. Um, and then there is a like a docking platform, and there's also like a ship that's kind of connected to the um, to the ring um, that is not like rotating. It's just sort of like docked, uh, like onto the um, the middle of the ring. Like it's sort of the ring like sort of spins around the the dock part. Um, and then the, you know, the, um, <clears throat> the the little shuttle thing like slowly goes into the little dock and um, there is uh, more of these, um, there's more of the like security guys, but this is like private security, but you really can't tell the difference. They look exactly like the security forces that are down like in the arcology, like literally uh, like the same kind of like secure, like robots that are flanking them and stuff. In fact, there's like a big, uh, like a big robot that's like a, it looks like a spider. And then it looks like it might have some kind of like a grenade launcher, like mounted on its face and like taser arms. Um, looks like a, like a spider tank. Um, and, but, you know, they're just like, just kind of standing there, like in the dock and, um, you know, as people get off their, 
going through like a metal detector kind of thing. And, um, but they're just kind of standing there, not even checking anybody's badges or anything, you know, just people are just making small talk as they go through this, this thing, um, single file. And okay, so I'm just wreck on something and say that, you know, this, you knew that you were going to have to go through security and none of you have firearms on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you have some kind of a secret thing, like a, I don't know, like a composite, um, like there are different types of firearms that are made out of like bone and like synthetic materials that they literally like grow some of the, it's like a, an assassin thing. But I mean, I'm assuming that none of you have that. Like you don't have any kind of like special, like invisible. I don't. I don't know about the rest. Yeah. Um, like a ceramic knife or something like that. If you do, if you do and you're trying to bring it on here, just let me know. Cause you're gonna have to sneak it through. Um, but then you know, they just kind of like like they're not even the security guys, and then like there's like there's like two two like human being security guys, right? And they're like standing next to each other, and then they're talking about hunters killers. They're like, no man, laser beam, you know, and like the same thing, like the like the exact same conversation. And like, no, dude, you just like go with Athena. Athena's the safe bet, you know, and uh, and like talking about who they're gonna bet on, like on this big big event for um hunters killers and they're just talking to each other they're paying no attention to you guys whatsoever yeah Tess is um, just putting at the um weird spider robot thing it's like no that that's what we need right there that thing that's actually what we need look at that thing that thing's menacing that thing's great it's so cool we need that <laughs> i want that actually no i want it we don't need it i want it <laughs> just the big the big security spider the yeah, big just just talk to herself like tank. i want that <laughs> yeah um so okay so if you're looking at it um i think yeah like it's not too hard to tell that it seems to be armed with like lethal and non-lethal um and stuff so it has like a kind of like a front mounted like grenade launcher type thing like on a turret and then it has like two arms that like look like they um basically fire out like a like an electric like arc like you can see there's like a little arc that's like coming across like taser taser arms but it's not really hard to tell you know and it's just kind of standing there just, just um, and same right? thing with like the the robot you know security or whatever that's like flanking them yeah tess is just crying to the joy it's like i love you so much <laughs> Um, but so nobody's is anybody trying to sneak anything on? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, I mean, like I, was, I mean the only thing I was trying to sneak on is literally my just combat accents part of my um tool gear, but yeah. that's technically as a weapon, I think. Yeah, um I think I think if you want to give me a, like a um like an admin or streetwise maybe where you can just like talk your way out of it and be like no i need this this is part of my job you know like i have to have this yeah i'd probably just go with like try to talk it out because honestly like you know this is literally part of my fucking shit like if there's like um a loose litter coil i can't really just do that by hands if i don't wear safety shipments i need this thing they cut it out <laughs> um yeah i mean i think I, I don't know if you what you if you think there's a better like just admin or um i guess like streetwise uh, I have admins, so I'm going to use admins for this. So I don't get a negative for using that, at least. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's... I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a success. Um, and so you're sitting there, like, arguing, you know, with this guy. 
He's like, he's like, no, you can't bring an ax in here. This is a secure facility, you know? And then, and then you're like, dude, like engineer, you know? And, and, um, eventually like a supervisor just walks up and he's just like, you know, just keep him moving. You know, if he swings it at anybody, I'll shoot him. Shoot him you know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is it just a test like him? <laughs> um, <laughs> So, and then Anna, like with your, um, your, your data pad thing, um, I'm IT. Huh? I'm IT. Yeah. Um, and so, I, show, I, I, I pull up the diagnostic programs. I use this to find this. I use this to find this. Like I said, I mean, I can use your stuff, but this is tough. Uh, uh, but I'm familiar with this, and it cuts the time of me diagnosing problems and coming up with a solution in half. If you want me to no. take longer, I'll use one of your standard generic pads. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to make this like. I would say, yeah, I would say admin, you know, but it's yeah. not even going to be like because it doesn't look like anything. It's not a weapon, you know. It's just yeah. like a data pad. And it's totally mm -hmm. something that you would have. Mm -hmm. um, like, I would say, like, it doesn't stand out at all. But, I mean, if you if you want to roll, just don't roll two ones, I guess. <laughs> just don't fumble. Oh, well, no. Save it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if they're not giving me problems, I'm not going to bother rolling. So. Yeah. So. Are they going to give me problems if they're every problem? Um, have to roll, or, yeah, otherwise. just give me just give me like one admin because it's the same thing where they're like, this is a secure facility. We need, you know, we have data, like secure data, like blah, 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 and all that. I mean, you have your IT uniform, you have your like you look like you're belong here, but and, and I guess the, just give me and, and huh? the and the machine itself has stuff to make it not look like an like it's you know it's got all this intrusion stuff hidden right so yeah it's basically it just looks like a regular like yeah. data so pack, like a would I, would I get any um, modifier just, for the uh, the built-in uh camouflage just, basically with the I'm 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 just gonna make it easy just don't fumble just don't don't roll like okay yeah you're fine yeah um so you're like I need this you know I I IT like point to your badge like like I'm not going in there and doing the work that I have to do without this. And then they're just like, you know, keep it moving, keep it moving. Like people in the back of the line, like, come on, let's go. Um, <clears throat> so, okay. So everybody gets their security. Okay. But, um, you know, you, you sort of get the idea that it's like these guys that are working security are like teenager, you know, or they're like just dumb kids. Um, they're probably not paid enough to actually keep the place like super secure. Um, so you get in, right? Um, and then you did say, like Anna, you did say that you and, and Dragon were like kind of spending some time to look up some plans, right? Plants, plans like like plants, for, like a plans. Yes, I had. Yes, I had. Uh, um, I looked up the um, uh, plants. Is, uh, is this like an uh, O'Neill? You say it's a ring. Is it an O'Neill type station? Yeah. It's so basically, it's a, it's a common design. It's like mm -hmm. a, um, you know, it's like uh, companies use this kind of ship whenever they want to like go somewhere and then do research and then bring the lab with them and bring it back and forth. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. kind of know the layout, like what it looks like. And um, so I the, don't know basically how many levels about uh, how many, uh, the rooms can be reconfigured, but about how many levels the place has where the uh, uh, skate pods, you know, the various, you know, Standard things where the uh, the engine's going to be, where the um, uh, yeah, uh, 
Well, we yeah, know so you, so you it, know, et cetera, so. like where the like emergency kind of exits exactly. are, you know, where exactly. the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, like where the modules, like the actual, like science modules go. Mm -hmm. And then, you mm -hmm. know, where like the docking ring, like where the, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, where the, like the different kind of conduits, like, like, you know, where the connecting points are basically like you kind exactly. of know where, where things are. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there are some, there are some like, at least on your blueprints, there are some like quarters and stuff on here. And there's like a, um, you know, a, a cargo bay. And then there's like a galley, like a mess hall, you know, and a mm -hmm. kitchen and like stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's, it is designed for people to actually live here, you know, and like while they're doing or like stay mm -hmm. here at least um, for some some amount of time um but there you you know you you basically kind of know the layout you know that there are some there are like basically if you go this way and then walk long enough you know that you're going to run into or at least you should run into some like rooms like sleeping quarters like little tiny bunks and stuff and then if you go this way, you know that you're going to run into the like little mess hall, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, are there like uh, along the walls, are there like maps or are there at least are there? Well, I'm sure there's at least going to be de deck and hall white numbers and stuff like that. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then there and then like if you're, you know, kind of walking along and you know where. Mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. say the escape the escape pods or like a hatch mm -hmm. is supposed to be and then you kind of look and it's that's like standard like there is mm -hmm. you know like there's a, like a, there's an airlock that's right there there's you know and then there's mm -hmm. signs too it's like in case of emergency right you know yeah. and like exit signs and stuff like that yeah and it's just gonna try to check out between the signs the counting and stuff like that how far off the actual station is from the design on the uh, uh, design on the on the the plan the, the, the blueprint plans because obviously th things get modified and changed and stuff like that so just so mm -hmm. we'll be surprised thinking oh we go here and like nope nope that ain't there you know, <laughs> that sort of thing like that yeah so there are like escape pods and stuff yeah. um and then and then it's like basically it's just a little pod and then it shoots off you know the facility and then there are um there is supposed to be at least two air rafts in the um in the bay like that are connected to this facility that's like um or at least you know like standard standard you would have it, at least two air rafts which are it's not it's not an actual air raft it's like they just call it that. It's just like a, a little kind of like emergency kind of shuttle thing. Mm -hmm. um, now on the right, on the AirPods, are, are they the, the kind that they just shoot them out there? Uh, and the, so they're away from the station with the oxygen and stuff like that, that another thing comes along and collects them? Or are they powered on their own to where they could go make an ascent or descent? No, they need Which to be are, recovered. Yeah, they, they need, they to, be need recovered, to be recovered, yes. and then they have a certain amount of, like, you know, air and... Exactly, uh, that's what I was checking on, okay. Yeah. But they now basically I, just pop off of the station, you know, like, exactly. in all directions. Yeah, exactly. And as far as anything hidden, uh, it's not, that's not going to be from just a casual inspection to figure to, to find that, so... But still, we want to get this, but as much basic information as we can, you know, just looking around and doing basic uh recon mm -hmm. um so yeah you're all i mean but if you're sticking together and well, then you're kind of wandering around now would we you don't all that? belong in the same group <laughs> yeah i know i, yeah, I was I, gonna say I, are we would we get up there did they look it up and say, okay, go down to so-and-so corridor, so-and-so, and so-and-so, when you go down to so-and-so corridor and so-and-so? 
I mean, I'm assuming they'll direct us to where we're supposed to go uh, when they uh, when they uh, when you come up and you present the okay, I'm working in so I'm working in this department. They should direct you where to go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, which means yeah, we're going to be, be you, splitting um, up. Um, yeah, yeah like you about, see that guy, uh, um, Leon. You see that guy Leon that that um, Lion, Lionel was talking to, like in the in the high port. And then he's like heading somewhere. He's like, like in a huff, you know, like I swear to God, if I just have to turn that thing off and on again, and then it takes me another three hours to get back to the, you know, like, like off in a huff, you know, heading in one direction. Um, and then you see like some of the, um, like the mechanic kind of guys, like heading in another direction, like a different group, or some of them are actually just like, in you know like in the um what do you call it like the airlock area mm -hmm. and then they like you know tap somebody on the shoulder and then their shift ends and then they you know like like head back like get back on to the shuttle mm -hmm. uh, like i said they're they are they are we're we when we get there they are gonna say when we present our ID, they're gonna say, okay, you go there, you know, right? Yeah. But I mean, so if you like if you want to, you know, you could follow Leon or whatever. Is he going he he's probably going the same direction as I would be going anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But yeah. One more thing if I'm allowed. I am going, I'm a mechanics guy. So this is what I think I'm going to go towards. And I want to go somewhere that is related to those animals that are hosted on this scientific station. So I imagine they probably have a feeding mechanism, like something that feeds water, fresh water for them to drink, food or something. I want to go and act like doing maintenance while observing and kind of keeping an eye on what specimens they have on this station. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm interested uh, in that part. So I'm going to, I mean, like, uh, like uh, uh, Anna said, we are going to get split and I'm just going with the engineering team. In mm -hmm. the direction. Um, and then I think, I mean, if you, so okay, what are you telling? Are you telling Tessin that too? Because Tessin is mechanic too. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could just do it psychically. Just you know, yeah, watch out. Yeah, just, just very quickly. Uh, so we're going to see uh, uh, the animal habitat. I mean, question mark. <laughs> does Tess, does Tess in their heads like? Do you usually just lower on me? <laughs> Would you call me? <laughs> Ricky, please. <laughs> Tessa goes over there, now very much adamant to throw you out the airlock because that you, she thinks you said a slur to her. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's do let's do Anna real quick. Um so okay, so are you, are you sorry? Did you say you're gonna follow Leon? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, because I figured he, he he's it sounds like he's IT as well, so we should should be presumably be going the same direction. Yeah, so he's like stomping. He's like, you know, like uh, stomping towards um, one of the you know, like I guess you would know it as like um, he, it's like the the computer. Like he's he's heading towards the like the the server room, you know, or whatever, right. where like yeah. all of the like the cooling and all that stuff for the um the right. the computer is and stuff. So what keeps uh, going down that they keep having you come up here to fix? And he's like, I don't, you know, it's like it's like they're having some kind of a communication issue with like the tight band, um, and they're just like, I I think that. It's just because somebody up here is like they're 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 probably, you know, um, like watch like um, downloading. You know, he's like he's like they're 
it's probably some asshole up here like downloading porn you know or something he's like it's just too slow and and like just like it's a um but it is like he tells you like the thing and it's basically it's like the um like their their internet connection you know is like a little Mm -hmm. slow um and yeah so he's heading towards like the um like the server but this guy has like a mouth on him you know he's like just right very angry (laughs) well i'll ask him do you do you um uh i think together probably we should be able to run a um run a full diagnostic starting from you know the obvious Mm -hmm. conditions have been going through the success you know eliminating the various options on that I got a program that starts them out pretty good. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, pretty good di- it's a pretty good diagnostic uh, program on this uh, my pad here. If you think that would be any help, I'll help you out on that. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh yeah, by all means. Like the the quicker we get out of here, the better." Um, and uh, and and like like points, you know, that way, um, and. Uh, <clears throat> so okay so yeah like basically just walks straight towards a um uh like a computer room you know um <clears throat> so are you are you going to try to hack into this thing well right now i'll help him out to get the get the lay of the system and then once I have, uh, once I have a, a good idea of the system, then I'll uh, uh, try hacking it. Uh, I'll probably try hacking it close to the end of our shift. So if something's noticed, we can already be out of there by the time they know. By the time it, they, they become aware of it. But right now, I'll just try to get to the, an idea of okay, all right, they got this this sort of computer with this power. It probably has, you know, just get the uh, get get it down under my belt, uh, so I'm not having to do that um, when I'm trying to do the hacking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess give me. I mean, the more, go the ahead more and I know about computer's the computer's role. Yeah, we like said the more I know about the computer, the easier it's going to be to hack it. So. Oh wait, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 16. Um, <clears throat> so you start looking, you start poking around the computer, right? And then mm. you you see that there is all of these, um, there's no actual lab data. There's no um, like, uh, what do you call it? You know, there's no like experiment A, experiment B. Um, oh. There is all of these different like encrypted communications that are going out, you know, and back Mm -hmm. that are like coming back and forth. Mm -hmm. And um, there is, um, but you do see that there's like, um, like inventories of of lab animals. There we go. Mm -hmm. Like um, uh, rhesus monkeys, chimpanzees, um you know rats and like Mm -hmm. dogs and all kinds of like different uh lab animals and stuff and um but there isn't really a whole lot as far as like um let's see what else well it's uh, you got a really good role i'm just seeing if there's yeah uh on the inventory, does it say inventory assigned to this location? And yeah, yeah. And then, so, like, so it we says, get, like, we can get the location of the lab, right? We can get the location of the lab from the inventory thing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can definitely see the, and then, and then the lab is like basically every single module, like, you know, like, in the layout that you saw of this ship when you were looking for like what what this ship looks like it would be like you would have module a module b 
and then like each each module would be assigned to doing like different kinds of experiments but this ship just has one massive lab um and uh but it's like to get the actual like even you know even with rolling a 16 like in the server room mm -hmm. you can't you can you can see that there's all these communications that are going back and forth mm -hmm. and that they've you know been like ordering animals and stuff like that um and then uh but you know you can get the location of the lab but there's no actual like all the data is encrypted you know so okay. like you could you could you could maybe like take some of these transmissions or something but mm. you're not going to be able to like decode it here especially not no you, you know don't. like exactly, quickly yeah. it would take you hours and hours yeah and I'm assuming the uh, data is probably on a computer that is separated from any outside um, that has no connection to the outside. So there's there's going to be a computer all by, by itself in the labs that stores yeah. all this information. Yeah. yeah. So it's like there's a lot of communication stuff okay. that's right. going in and out of here, but there's no actual um, there's no actual lab data, right. or at least okay. nothing that that you can just get off of here. Right, you know? okay. But like I said, it, it, one wouldn't encrypt um, orders for animals, I wouldn't think. I mean, so there's got to be something more. They might be, they might say they're orders for animals, but there's got to be something more going on than that on these communiques. Yeah. yeah, like there's, you can see orders for like lab animals and stuff, and you can see yeah. orders for food. Or you can see, you know, like um, maintenance requests and stuff like that and um, different, you know, different stuff like that. But there's no actual lab, like all of the actual lab data is is totally encrypted. Yeah. Okay. And then there's like oh, regular Oh, so it is, it, there, it, it, it is going out, but it's going out encrypted. Okay. All right. I thought, mm -hmm. I, I thought they yeah. were, you were saying that they were having orders for animals encrypted. I was going, no. That's, that's something no. else that they're disguising as an order for an animal. Okay, yeah. all right. So they they are they. No, it's not a standalone computer. We could technically hack it from the outside once we break the encryption. Uh, yeah, okay. you're. It's like you you get the impression that you're not going to be able to get any of the lab data off of here without mm -hmm. actually going to the lab. Right. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And yeah. uh. And then. Like you're seeing all kinds of stuff that is not encrypted, that is like just normal kind of mundane stuff like, hey, we need more of this or we need more of this and like chemicals and stuff like that, you know, like all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff that they're wow. like ordering. And then there's other stuff where it's like multiple, multiple levels of encryption yeah. on top of it. But But even the stuff that's not encrypted, that's generally where they screw, that's generally where people screw up. And let something slip. Yeah. yeah. So it's important to go through that as well. Uh, now, as far as these, um, uh, it's slowing down. Is this uh, they got the the problems the other guy has? Does there seem to be some sort of timing to it? Uh, um, uh, he's like he's like pulling apart, you know, panels and stuff mm -hmm. like while you're doing this, mm -hmm. and then he's like is like checking you know, like connections and stuff mm -hmm. and like, you know, taking like, like this and like just turning it off and on again and like doing this and, mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, and, and, and then like kind of like looking at all this stuff to, to see where, you know, where the problem is, but, mm -hmm. um, he seems like focused, I guess. Yeah. But my question is, is, is these, um, uh, things that they cause them to call him up here is there any sort of pattern to it is, is it after they've sent uh before or after they sent a transmission um i mean is there anything that makes that marks some sort of pattern to this um yeah i think um it's like um it's so i guess you would you would know that somebody is trying to decrypt like these transmissions like while they're 
you know, going mm. back and forth. And it's like mm. the, um, it's slowing down, like how the, um, mm -hmm. how like the encrypted data is getting out. It's like literally when they, you know, they send some kind of like lab data out and mm -hmm. then there's an instant attempt to try and try and hack it and grab it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's and like every, want, like every time. Every time. We don't want to tell the guy that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can come up with some ways to um, uh, speed up the system. And mm -hmm. have him try have him try that, and at least that way he'll feel like he's accomplished something or other. But we'll still have, have to, we'll still be able. Whoever's trying to do the uh, trying to hack in, we're, we're not going to be exposing them because if we expose them, we'll end up exposing us indirectly. Yeah, you know? yeah. And chances are, I mean, you don't know for sure, but chances are, it's like you do know some hacker types, you know, and they are friendly yeah. to you. Um, yeah, but I, uh, oh, is there is is there any sort of signature that I can get off of some of these attempts? Uh, um, actually, yeah. So, um, if if you're looking for just you know because you got like a sixteen, like you got like a crit, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're looking for where the um. Like who is who is doing this? If you can see any kind of signature on it, um, you you remember there was like a a group um, that was like is is connected to the um, Union of Soci so of Socialist Systems, um, and it was like a state level hacking thing, and um, they it was called um, Red Apollo. Operation Red Apollo. And it was basically like an attempt to steal um like secrets to sort of bring the um the socialist systems like up to the um like the level of everybody else. Like basically like like doing like corporate espionage stuff. Mm -hmm. You notice that in some of the code where it's like you know, they're, they're doing like hacking attempts and then they're trying to sort of like, um, but you, you just recognize something that looks like operation that reminds you of operation red Apollo. You saw, you've seen like a signature like that before. And it's like a state level hacking operation. No, oh, it's not our OPA friends who are doing it unless it's no. a former member of the thing. Okay. Yeah. This is like state level hacking. Um, an OPA would be like, or like a dragonfly. I don't even know if you would know what that look like, what that would look like, because um, they've they've probably never tried to hack you before. Like yeah. you're not their target. Yeah. But maybe when you were in the Navy, you know, you you got yeah, you've seen like some state level stuff before from the yeah. USS, and you know what it looks like. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, but let's go back to um, totally not Lucas and um, uh, Tessin. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if you're, like, just say that Anna, like, maybe you have, like, a, okay, one, two, three, break, and then Anna is, like, if you want to go find the animals, they they should be that way, you know. Um, and then, uh, like, points you in the right direction. And uh, if you, you know, if you're looking around like you're lost, you might get stopped. But um, if you're just kind of like walking. It's like everybody here is just super busy. You know, they're all doing something. They kind of have tunnel vision. So you don't stand out too much. Like you've got your, you know, your maintenance, like your coveralls on and like tools and stuff, you know. It looks yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Yeah, not, I mean, um personally, Lucas is not even going to attempt to do anything. I'm just walking with the uniform, <laughs> with the with the briefcase, in, with the toolbox in one hand, and I'm just looking everywhere, just 
trying to see something interesting. Um, of course, on our way, do I see any kind of indication for this mysterious lab? Um, yeah, yeah. So um, I think if you're, you know, like you see that um, if you're making your way towards the lab, there is different areas, you know, like um, the, uh, okay, so which which area are you heading for? I mean, I am trying to go towards the lab. This is, and I'm going to uh, tell uh, Tesson as well because it's mm -hmm. nearby, uh, but they can do whatever they want. In my opinion, we should split from this part just to see more, but that's just my opinion. That's just my plan. If she wants to follow, by all means. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tess is probably going to just say that um, I'm actually going to go to the um, electronic parts here since um, if anything, that's IRM best suited. Just give me, you know, a call, I guess, in your weird telepathic brainwave thing if things go awry. <laughs> um, yeah, but the two of you, you know, you have like coveralls on, you have a bunch of tools. Um, if you're so if you head towards the lab, I would say that you actually you know you okay so you walk past the um the like mess hall you know and you walk past um there's like uh you do see some areas that look like it's like life support kind of stuff you know and you just assume that like if they're going to be keeping animals they have to they have to be somewhere you know like cuz they need like water and like waste management you know and stuff like that so it has to be like close. Um, and then, you know, you, you like, you see somebody like, wham, like hit a, hit a door and then like come out with a table with a bunch of dead monkeys on it. And then just kind of like go, you know, like go down a hall, um, like maybe to incinerate them or something, you know? <laughs> Has just points at the door that the guys come out. It's like, I think it's that where you want to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess give me um give me a recon. <laughs> or maybe a streetwise. Uh, I get recon, you get streetwise. You have streetwise, right? <laughs> totally. Uh I do not. Uh well, please get a good recon then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have faith. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, okay, so that's, uh, recon. Um, that's a success. So basically, um, you like you see this guy, and then he has like he has his um face, you know, covered and stuff, and like looks at, like he has some PPE on. Um, you you know what you know what PPE is, Victor? Uh, not really. Um, personal protective equipment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So masks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. he looks like he has like gloves and like a mask and like you know um eye mm -hmm. protection. Yeah, yeah. Like he's that. uh he's working with viruses, potential biohazard stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah yeah potential biohazard stuff and then he's kind of like wheeling these dead monkeys like down a hallway and then you kind of like glance into the um the room that he's coming out of and they you see like there's a bunch of monkeys in there and they look pissed like they're like angry you know just some of the angriest like looking kind of monkeys that you've ever seen yeah Oh, uh, sorry. And also, um, as you're as you're walking, you know, like as you're kind of coming into the lab area, you notice that there are um, what do you call it? Um, iris uh, like locks. Um, and you've seen this before, like when you were in the Navy. And it's basically like if 
something happens if the compartment starts to de depressurize or, you know, in this case, there could be some kind of a weird, you know, um, some kind of a weird pathogen or something that it will like, you know, close and then you cannot open it like by mm -hmm. force. It, mm -hmm. it like, or I mean, you could, maybe you could, but it would just, it would take a lot of strength to, to open it like manually um but they're like iris locks where the the you know the the whole section the whole module like it's sealed off in case yeah you're... when i when i see the bio stuff i'm going to keep a very safe distance from it just just glance a little bit from afar uh because i'm rightfully afraid of actually catching a deadly pathogen manufacturing mm -hmm. this facility. I want, if I, either I can give another recon, but I'm looking more for a place where they would store um, something more like safe science stuff, like probably a place where they would store some data or where I would just be able to barge in be completely oblivious and be like oh yeah i need to change this light bulb in this room something very benign like that and um i guess i'm also mapping this place so i'm not going to continue in the biohazard zone because danger uh do i see something more interesting or um is uh, i mean so they're testing stuff on the animals that turns them angry, probably a biological bomb or something. What else is here in this part of the station? Um, so you do see something that looks more like a um like a clean room, you know, like uh like computers and stuff like that. And um but this this lab just seems to just keep going and going and going like it's probably half or more of the whole the whole station um and you know you just happen to come upon like one of the areas where they're keeping the animals but then they you know they would also have like um rats and um like you know dogs and other like other kinds of animals too um i guess but you you too you you're you're starting to not blend in as much because <laughs> it's more of like the lab coat kind of people around here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i'm just going to uh i'm just going to stop at a wall completely randomly and pretend i'm um um changing something minuscule and i imagine probably one of these white colors is going to come to me and be like hey you're not supposed to be here and i'm going to reply to them like uh yeah no ju just a couple of minutes uh, this knob yeah this one uh didn't work just putting in some uh, new transistors right here a new uh, resistance all is going to work well um carry on yeah so you like pull a panel off the wall you know and they're like hey hey hey, don't don't touch that you know <laughs> um and then and then you know you're like relax it's a broken um what's it for but you know and like i'm going to invent some stupidly hard jargon like you know the discombobulator on this panel is not working and they will be like what the hell is a discombobulator? And I'm like, see, this is why I'm working on this panel. And this is why you are working on whatever you are working. <laughs> Somewhere where Tessa is walking to, there's a groan. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know why, but she groaned for some reason. <laughs> After you say that. <laughs> um. So, but I would say that if you're just kind of hanging around there for a little bit, you do spot something where it looks like you see, you know, there's, there's people that are working with animals and then there's people that are working, they're like doing research where they're like on a computer 
you know, or like testing, like doing, um, like running, um, like chemical tests. Oh, what a surprise. And, uh, I, uh, say intentionally just to get behind somebody working at the computer. This lamp is also broken. What a surprise while I'm looking uh, after they are like, oh, this guy is annoying and they are returning to their work. And then I'm just looking at what they're doing, pretending to repair something on the panel. Um, of course, I'm not going to understand scientific jargon or anything, but do I spot something like Project Apocalypse 666 or something, like a code word, something very cryptic, but something that I can later pull some uh, strings behind the scenes to research. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Do you have, do you have like medicine? Or uh, um... it'll be, uh, I think medic you're talking about. It would be this um, skill. Medic. Yeah. Um, oh. Like what, you, let's see. I'm just trying to think of what. Mm, no, unfortunately, I'm pretty... I'm I'm pretty kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm only. I guess. Give me just give me another um, recon roll. Mm, all right. Recon. That's a okay. mild. Uh, that's a mediocre seven. Yeah. So a seven, I think, is like it's a, it's like a success with a failure because like an eight is success. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so you're kind of like, you're kind of like looking at what this guy is doing on his computer. And he's like, turns over, like turns around and like looks at you. And then um, you, you see that um, like he's, he's putting in some data that is, it has to do with um, the effects of a drug. Um, and, and then it's like, the it's about um how like it's about how angry basically it's like it's like rage increased by like this much you mm -hmm. know and um and it's like it's specifically like talking about aggression levels mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's um, and then, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah and then he and then and then he kind of looks at you and he's like excuse me and then like gets up from his computer and then you know hits the like turns turns the screen black. Yeah, the screen. You know, and like grabs a clipboard and then kind of like walks away. Um, but definitely notice you. Yeah, yeah. Um so in fact, okay, if you guys are gonna be hanging around this lab and you don't have lab coats on. Well, Tessin's not there. Tessin went somewhere else to find the um engine in like electronics room, you know, to keep this place running. That's what oh. she's on the floor. Okay, so yeah, so Tessin, as you're, um, as you're kind of making your way back from the lab, you, um, you see, um, May, you see May like walking to, with a group uh, down this hallway, and then, um, they look like, um, they're all like businessmen, you know. They're dressed in like suits, like they're going to have like a board meeting or something. And then there's like a person in a lab coat who's kind of showing them, showing them, you know, it's like, and this is, this is um, where we do live testing, you know, and like blah, blah, blah. And uh, um, like, and, and May kind of like looks at you, like glances at you, but then glances away. Like she's not trying to um, let on that she knows, knows you. You know, I, Tess and eyebrow raise confused, like, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So she keeps walking with this group, and then you know, and they're like, they're like, let me show you, um, we can, uh, let me show you some of a, a demonstration of, um, like this, this like new compound or whatever, like something that they're like working on, right? And um, and then the like one of the guys like pipes up and he's like. When are we going to see the um, the the uh, like says something like he says like when are we going to see the clones? Um, and and then that like like you know that 
cloning itself, like you can grow a limb, you cannot, you're not supposed to grow a whole person. Like even growing like a cow or something like that, they're not supposed to do that. Like they, um, uh, they can grow like a slab of beef, but they aren't supposed to grow like a whole cloned cow. Um, yeah, uh, I think Tess and um, with that, um, you know, or picked up and like the um, they go up to the guy that's you know taking the tour for them and everything and says like, like hey, um, there, um, I'm new here, name's um, Lanzam um, Erlon. Um, I'm a bit lost and everything. Don't worry, no labs and whatnot. But um, I heard there might be like a cooling dysfunction in like the laboratory areas where you do your um examination things. Uh, someone said something about like um testing um for specific secret stuff. I couldn't ask because secret stuff and everything. But I'm supposed to go to your engineer electronics field to uh, make sure that everything gets back up online. Don't want anything on freezing in there, right? <laughs> Yeah, and then and then you know everybody looks kind of concerned, and May is just like shooting daggers at you, just like, you know, like <laughs> get out of here, uh, like just like staring you, staring you down, shooting like ice daggers at her eyes, um, and uh, and then the the you know the like the tour guide is like, uh, that you know that way, <laughs> um, and like points towards a um, like a bay, you know. That's like yeah. off, like off away from the lab, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, just give a bit of salute and say hey, thank y'all. Um, well, have a good tour, and everyone. I'll make sure that those um freezers don't go, you know, offline. <laughs> yeah, and then some of the people like start talking in like another language. Like it sounds like sort of like like Korean or like Japanese or something. And they're like, what, what the? Like what the? What did she say? You know. <laughs> um, like are we you know like like they look like concern and they're kind of like talking like in a little group of, to each other like is it safe you know um uh, how long has it been time wise since we've been up here um let's say like i don't know maybe maybe like an hour you know no so not, um, not enough time for a break then okay um but okay so yeah what are what are you doing in like the um the server well i think like i said i think everything as far as stuff we're going to get i've probably gotten um uh, yeah, make sure i have enough of the encrypted stuff that maybe we stand a chance of unencrypting it um then like i said i've been helping boost up the speed of the um uh uh Transmission speed, you know, uh, yeah, uh, upload, download speed, et cetera, uh, mm -hmm. just so it make it, it makes it look like we did something that we didn't actually do. Because that's the, the, the only way to really stop that is just to stop the uh, people from doing the hacking. But um, we still have a, we still have our little inner ear things, right? Private channels. Um, you have um, like uh, cell phones. Like you want you want to like send somebody like a text? <laughs> well, I can send off the thing. It's like uh mm. break room uh and uh twenty minutes or something like that. <laughs> In other words, we'll meet up at the break room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Received on my way. <laughs> yeah, um, Tessin just um, gives you a winky emoji saying, like, I think I found something pretty um nice here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. So um uh we need to lay low. What time what time are we scheduled to to to, to depart? Or, or do we have any departures, uh, a, a specific departures, a departure time to go back down? Um, are you like, you, you, like, um, like a time when you're supposed to meet up again with the rest of the crew, 
or or yeah, just like well, when I the mean, next shuttle leaves or yeah, well, that's what I'm asking. Are we supposed to like just leave with the next shuttle, or are we supposed, or are we slated to like, okay, you're going to be on this shuttle at so and so a time? Uh, I need to know if we can like leave immediately, or you know, or if we're going to have to wait around for a shuttle. Yeah, you will have to wait around for a shuttle, but um, basically, uh, like you're just supposed to poke around, like you're supposed mm-hmm. to, like see what you can find, um. Okay. <clears throat> like that's what that's what they you know what they told you to do mm-hmm. and then and then jolly did say that she had some kind of a surprise plan <laughs> I, I i was just about to point that out i'm going to because i i i remember i'm smart right now i'm looking at the clock we probably put do we know when she planned the surprise so do we have something like a clock like in the james bond movie set up we don't know anything she did not say anything like that. Oh. She's just like, she's like, I got something. I got a distraction plan. Like, oh, I, got a, I got a surprise. <laughs> oh, Jala, no. Oh, no, no, no. Jala, no. I, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'd say we've I, we got some rather, uh, at least I have got some rather interesting information. Uh, uh, and uh, says, if you have had any luck like I have on this, we want to. I think we want to lay low till uh, as soon as we can get out of here. Because if we do something stupid and get caught, we're going to get caught with the information. Yeah, Tessa says, "Well, I actually have to um, do a job now, which isn't really a job since I gave it to myself. But now I need to work like I did fix the thing." Okay. <laughs> Yes, also, we, um, we, yes, there might be some Asian, um, angry Asian people around. Um, if you see them, um, they you never heard my name. Damn. Monkey face. <laughs> oh yeah, Anna. Don't forget if you're using your your data pad thing to hack, you get a plus two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, plus two mod on that. That's pretty good. Now that, but will that hit, will help me with the decryption or not? Um, it's just. It's it's just it's going to take time. It's like you could snag, you could grab one of the transmissions, you mm-hmm. know, yeah. um, and then. But it's like you, it would take you hours and hours. You probably need help to like yeah. you. What you have is intrusion software. You don't have like, yeah, you exactly. Know. Yeah, basically, I want to use the software right now to hide any sort of damaging information to where they can't find it on my on my pad. So I can just waltz out of here with that information. I shouldn't have enough data to to uh, hopefully be able to decrypt the messages if we get enough enough of the things. So I guess in the meantime, if we're going to have to kill time, um, that's what it, that's what it sounds like. We're just going to have to kill time till the surprise comes around. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. If that, if that's what it sounds like, then um, uh, I'll uh. The, Go back to the the IT thing and get get well, get a download of like okay what jobs do they need worked on and just start working on them. Yeah, um, I fix a cooling problem in twenty minutes before we meet up apparently, and I'm guessing I'm the fastest fucking engineer worker ever. <laughs> it's like it's like woo hi I fixed that real fast. <laughs> that could <laughs> be faster, yeah. <laughs> um, so but are you all like going to like a you're gonna meet up in the break room? Yeah, the cafeteria break room, mostly since that's where the workers go, I'm assuming, to have break time. As, 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 as I'm going back to the rendezvous, I'm still up for some shenanigans. Looking around, how tight is the security around here? Are there many cameras around? Yes. Yeah, yeah. there are cameras all over the place. And um, they, you know, like especially where you are like in the lab it's like when you first came into the the dock you know like the the um there would be like maybe a couple of cameras but then like in this lab it's like covering every corner uh-huh right right okay so no funny business in the lab uh if it's possible if not i'm going to meet with the others but i i'm wondering can I find reliably the security office? 
like probably where all of this CCTV footage is being sent to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and and of course, just act like, oh yeah, another light here <laughs> needs repairing or something very benign, like I'm not going to uh, assault the guy or the guys or the gals watching the cameras. I'm just wondering to see what's inside of the room. Uh, how many people are on the cameras, uh, stuff like that, very basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So if so the security area is like next to the the um the dock, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um so say that you just kind of make your way back there and it's like the same thing. Like they're just sitting there just look like watching tv you know and stuff yeah yeah and then you see the um yard, yeah. yeah like you see the the like the the security like the robots are just like standing around like don't look like they've moved and like just a couple a couple of guys like staring at monitors and stuff and like drinking coffee kind of talking to each other um yeah But yeah, you do see that there is like there's like a um security, you know, like monitors and stuff where mm -hmm. it's like it'll flash to like a hallway or something, and then you see people with lab coats walking or you know, flashes mm -hmm. to the cafeteria and there's people in there like eating and drinking and stuff. Uh a potential idea, but we'd have to do it at the again close to the time that we're going to be uh, doing it or back or backdoor it maybe said something in backdoor it uh would be to tap into their cameras tap into the cameras yeah if i mean since i found where the break rooms are and everything i could just um make a thing where it's like the cameras turn off to get them away from them to give you time to go into um you know mess with them well, I wouldn't necessarily even need to. I mean, I could do the thing between programming rather than physically mess with the cameras. I mean, that's not my that's not way her style anyway. You know, she'd be hacking into the um, uh, where the yeah, but the cameras are going to feed the data into a certain thing. It'd be from the cameras to the uh, to to where it stores the data that she'd be trying to hack into. If you're confident you can do that, do that, I don't have to go in there. Um, I'll trust you then, would it? <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, if, if we start spray, it's like a, I remember if we start spray painting, spray painting cameras or putting mirrors up in front of them, somebody's going to spot us at some point here. Uh, whereas if somebody's just working on a panel or something like that, uh, or working on their laptop, that's going to be a little less conspicuous. I mean, there's always the old fashioned way, yeah, like like hold hold up mirrors to the the thing. Uh, uh we if we wanted to like fake what they were seeing now, if we wanted to fake what they were seeing, you know, um we'd have to tap into the cameras, put in a feed from moments before and just loop it to where they think they're looking at uh live data when in fact they're they're off you know, the cameras are offline. But I don't know that we need a reason to do that. Like if, like if, some, if somebody was going to try to breach the labs and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to do is everything I can find that's just as least intrusive as possible. That'll gather us the most data as possible, you know, because uh, a lot of times it's better to get a lot of data from minor sources than it is to try and breach one major system uh, and potentially mess up uh and uh because usually where they mess up is that it's in the small details it's the things that, the things that they don't think to encrypt the things that they don't think to um uh, to block or hide and stuff like that you sift through enough data information starts forming and starts forming patterns and stuff like that and they give themselves away that or or similarly things that get dumped in the trash on the computer, you know, 
uh, how often do they clean out their, or how how often do they clean out their uh, uh, trash bin? That sort of thing, like that. Uh, or, uh, pre- yeah. So, so are, you, are you like are you having this conversation in the um, like the mess hall or? I mean, well, yeah, it's, it's our. Uh, I mean, it is our break, so. Well, we I mean, can, if yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, if there's people around. We're not going to do that. Um, uh, uh, and uh, again, we spotted the cameras. I can um, write something down on a pad and immediately delete it. Yeah, if there's if there's not going to be cameras pointed at it, because uh, I there could be. If there's cameras, there's probably microphones too. I mean, if we sit near like a corner where the camera is, it probably will be in the angle where it can't see us, and any cameras in the other corners will be hard to see exactly what's on the pad. If we just do it discreetly, just like yeah, I don't know, make and, it look like we're playing a game or something like Jenga yeah. or whatever digitally. Yeah, yeah, and 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 like and I uh, said, not talk because the this you know the the sound is omnidirectional, so it's going to be hard to you know. Okay, there's uh, there's almost certainly if there's cameras there's almost certainly mics to pick up the sounds and we can give ourselves away that way so yeah like i said plant plat us in a place where you or uh, the camera can't see it or has uh, or is a bad angle and just do like you said look like we're playing games and flash a series of messages uh, that to get to come that get deleted immediately yeah, I think the only thing Tesla wrote back is like, you know, um, they'll let you do your job then while um, they keep doing, quote unquote, their job in the breaker rooms and make sure mm-hmm. everything stays online until they, you need them to do something. They'll just be there basically doing their, quote unquote, job mm-hmm. and just puts in a little like, P.S., I feel like I actually have a job here and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've talked so much about sports with the guys from the security that I'm almost starting to become a fan right now. Everybody's talking about this gladiator bullshit. (laughs) Don't get tested started. They're going to say, please vote on Skinny. I swear. (laughs) Uh, But but yeah, uh, the security guards uh, are experts in anything but security if you want to ask them what's the best coffee around here they are going to have an answer who's the best team they're going to have an answer uh don't talk about jobs with them uh it's not because we seem shady it's because they don't want to talk about their job ever at all Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah so basically basically uh uh andrea as she's been called now it's like like um what what's the one where you you try to sling around the plant uh, the the planet or whatever spe- the expanse? What um the, uh, the uh, like the racing? The, yeah, what well, not the regular racing? The unofficial little belters thing where they would try to use a planet as a slingshot. Like I, I think it was just called slingshotting, yeah. you know. And like and then a lot of times they got uh, splattered. It's like like uh, Andrea would say it's like yeah, give me give me slinging over that anytime. At least they're actually doing the, the slingers are actually putting their asses on the line. <laughs> right. Um okay, so um as you're all like kind of hanging out, you know, like talking and stuff about like, uh, and we're eating, you know, and, and we're eating, we and, to... and we're eating and drinking. By the way, so it looks like we're in a break room to be taking our break. Yeah, actually, actually what I said because only Tessa would probably care about this. How good is the food here? Is it even any good, or is it like that cheap, like cafeteria food they give you at work that no one no, likes? It's, it's cafeteria food. It's one hundred percent cafeteria food. Uh, gross. Uh, yeah, it's artificial mush. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's absolutely a cafeteria food. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, take that cable. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> but um, so as you're kind of hanging out here, like in the break room, and like, and you, 
you know, like as you, you, sorry, Anna, as you leave, you know, and Leon is like, just neat, like up to his waist, like kind of buried inside this computer, like pulling things apart and stuff. And he's like, I can't figure it out. Like, there's nothing wrong with this thing, you know? Um, but it just kind of confirms that, that you're like, yeah, somebody's trying to grab your data. That's what's slowing things down. Um, well, I'm not going to tell him that. I'll say it's like, well, I think, I, I, as I said, I, I think you're right. I think, I think somebody's he's, uh, spending a lot of uh, computer power looking at porn and stuff like that. Yeah, but he he doesn't know that. He's just trying to pull everything. Yeah, I know. Pull everything apart, check every connection. He's like, I can't figure it out. Like, there's mm-hmm. nothing, you know, nothing is wrong here. There's just like, you know, um, the connections are all fine or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um but then, so as you're hanging out in like the break room, um, you see this group of of people walking by again, you know, all of these these Asian people. <laughs> um, and they're kind of talking amongst themselves. And May, um, she she's like her eyes are big. Um, she like she looks like she's just seen a ghost um and like she's like just white like like looks like sick um and she's like you know excuse me you gentleman and like kind of like bows and stuff you know and like does does like the kind of like cordial like excusing herself thing and then you see her leave and then she's heading back to the um to like the the dock right um do you do or do you do anything i'm i mean do any of you like i mean um tess is probably seeing that in the brick room um says um i guess to a random um person on like the comms it's like um hey jim i'm gonna take like a five minute smoke break um uh get dave down here to look at the um breakers for the um career comms i i gotta take this one um my husband went into pregnancy overload <laughs> bye <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, "Hey, pregnancy overload. Men don't even get that." So, um, are you heading back to the dock too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, but before that, I'm testing. Actually, does like flip a couple of switches and like, like they never put these things in the right order. <laughs> it's like they actually are doing the job and they hate it. It's like <laughs> why it's so messy. <laughs> and then they go after they realize, mm-hmm. wait, what am I fucking doing? <laughs> Okay, so is everybody everybody heading back to the dock? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll uh, be. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, it's the. Uh, I'll be looking like I'm still working on stuff and just you know uh, on my pad and uh, uh, head, and heading on that direction to. Um, mm-hmm. So not not like uh-huh. I'm not 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 like I'm you know um, my I, that I'm walking to the dock with purpose, just like I'm just. I'm just going along corridor and looking at stuff, you know, and then I'll just be there, you know. Yeah. So May is walking at a little bit of a clip. Like she, she, like she does look like she is sick. Um, and then she is kind of walking at a little bit fast pace. And she's like, you know, kind of like doing the same thing where it's like if uh a scientist like tries to stop her or something to say something. She's like, excuse me. And like, like does like the bow and like, it just keeps walking. Um, and then, um, she gets on to the, uh, the, um, well, the Zunsu, she gets onto the fast merchant and, um, and then like, you're kind of following her and then, there's an explosion that goes off. Um, and it's like, it just rocks it. Like the whole, the, um, like you're in the, the little, like, um, I'm sorry. There's like a box thing, you know, that's like the, um, the employee, um, cubit area. Right. Yeah. Where like the dock is, you know, Mm -hmm. and then there's like, um with spokes like wagon wheel spokes that go out to the um to the you know the spinning the lab right this explosion just goes off 
and um, you immediately hear like airlocks going off. You know, like you hear the, you know, that sound where it's like, and then the, you know, the iris is like closing. Um, and and then you notice that you're kind of floating um, because like, and then like the, you know, the, the, the okay. same thing, like boo, the, the power, we're, you're like, we're oh, we're going, God, deja vu. You know, we're, we're, we're going as fast as we can. And uh, to uh, uh, not be, not get caught behind the airlocks. So to, because yeah. remember, we, we scoped out the, we scoped out the stations for like uh, pods for the, the, uh, the hauler, uh, transports what whatever is the closest we can get to, to to get on and get off yeah i think tessa says i think that was a surprise jala was mentioning to us <laughs> um yeah but like may like the the um is you know like this this thing goes off or sorry she if you if you had seen her you would you would guess that the explosion probably went off like as soon as she got on the, her ship. Mm -hmm. It's like she gets on and she's like, sayonara. And then, you know, boom, <laughs> the like the explosion goes off. And then you're kind of like coming up behind her, you know, in the, um, but um, you did say that you had your, your back suits on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm going into so, a new environment until I trust it. To, my back suit goes with me everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm a mechanic. Back suits are just something you need. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Lucas is Lucas. <laughs> so people people start like you know like they're screaming, and then you see like lab coats. You know, like they're just kind of like hitting the ground. They're floating in the air. They're like, don't know what to do. Like the mechanic people like know kind of more what to do. They're like a little bit more used to the zero G stuff. Um, and then uh, the security guys, you know, are like, get those zero locks closed. And, and, um, and then there's stuff that's going off, like um, their little like console kind of lights up mm -hmm. like a Christmas tree um so but it's like it's like a panic um where what do you where do you all want to what do you all want to do well uh, again where we're uh, where, what's the closest thing off of the station there is where um, if i would say the... that you're closest to like the you could you could get onto one of the life rafts mm -hmm. or the um the air rafts you know mm -hmm. um or like you know like i i think that lucas you would have seen that they would have had um helmets mm -hmm. you know in the like in the security area so you could just throw on a um a helmet like and just have be in a vac suit yeah yeah, yeah. now um, is it gonna be or, faster i don't know how lucas how how used to or are you to the zero g Working in vac suits. Uh, yeah. Do you have any ranks in vac suit? Like any skills? As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, I have. I think you all do. Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, I've got quite good. I'm pretty yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you all do. Yeah. Okay. You were well, I was going to say. Good. Otherwise, I was going to say we grab him and we 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 did we we un. Undo the uh, magnetic boots, uh, and uh, and just you know jet over there. Whatever's the fastest jetting, and I think the magnetic boots take a while. So we'll just be doing the micro, yeah. But I mean, I think G. I think all of you, you're good at this. I mean, if you yeah, uh, yeah. I guess just yeah, give so, me a vac suit roll. Yeah, Everybody, okay. give me a vac suit roll. But it's not going to be. It's like basically having the skill is the thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, I got a double six on that back. <laughs> I <Yeah>. destroy. <laughs> I'm okay. creating I got a twelve. A <laughs> I got a got ten. It. So, so Anna, if you want to, you can take like a plus two to your roll because, like, they mm -hmm. just 
throw everything on and then they're like trying to help you, you know. Okay. So modify two, modifier two. Um, um, you can uh, do a vaccine, do you can do a vaccine roll and then do it with a plus two. What on the that's what I put. Okay, so I hit that, it comes up with modifier, I put in plus two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 6 plus three plus two, so three plus yeah, no problem. I mean it wasn't it wasn't gonna be a hard check anyways, but the um so um the like security guys, you know, they they make a break for the um like make a break for the for the for the rafts like for the for the life rafts as We're soon as things it's, it's not like they're like everybody stay calm like the they hear the explosion go off and then they had they had for like how many people like, how many people can the life rafts take um they can each hold like 12 people okay all right well then i'm and then let's just go there and say it's like thank you Unless one of you, you one of you uh, who's knew how to knows how to pilot this is like we're take we're going to take it off the station. I mean, I have a, I have a plus three in pilot, and um, yeah. as I'm shoving three people, Tessens are just saying, um, I'm away. I have a pregnant husband. I have to see. <laughs> um, yeah. So okay, but uh, so but everybody's you're all leaving. You don't want to you don't want to hack into any of that juicy data. No. <laughs> I am not if if we got not 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 uh not not on a station that's carrying something or other or um uh, it's a potential biohazard. No, I don't I don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't know the explosion unleashed. There could be radiation there now, <laughs> just everywhere. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sorry we're saying um individuals that have common sense <laughs> as in players. <laughs> Okay, so so like the the security guys just like they you know they make a beeline for like the life rafts, not trying we're to make, help anybody at all. Yeah, we're we're making a beeline too, and if they give and if they give us this flag and says like we uh, we know how to fly, you don't. So um, <laughs> so there's a shaker when I'm saying my husband's in labor. I need to get there fast. <laughs> And so um, they, you know, they, they leave the security office, right? And then, um, and then everybody's like, ah, and trying to scramble, you know, towards some kind of an emergency, like exit or whatever, and then floating in the air, you know, like trying to like grab on to something. And um, the, uh, and so like, you're, you're grabbing like helmets, right? From the security office. And one of the robots is like, citizen, stay calm, you know. <laughs> and and you like point to your badge or whatever, just grab a helmet. But um the uh um the 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 security guys are going to, you know, they they do kind of like split up and then they they start like firing up the life rafts, you know. So you could, I mean, you could assume they do have a little bit of, at least some piloting skill. Well, right. Before, before, before we leave. If they see us, I'm assuming just by the way we move through the air and stuff like that, probably they're going to assume that we're probably better qualified at this than they are. I mean, um, well, okay. We're going to so, we're, we're look exactly like, we're going to look like exactly what we are, people that know what the, what we're doing. Yeah, but you're you're supposed to be like maintenance or like IT. Yeah, we're not security the, um, that, pilots. Well, uh, yeah. Well, <clears throat> well, like like you served uh, you you served on a small ship. You learn uh, you cross you do cross training. So yes, they like, they prob probably at at least uh, there's probably at least several people on a small small scout ship that know piloting. Um, yeah, but and, um, and one per and one person that was working on computers and stuff like that. So I mean, you know, uh, that that if you work in a small enough place, you become you you learn you the, you you cross train, so you have um have the necessary skill in case somebody dies. You know. Yeah, I think the main problem here is though, even if um 
let's say Tessin mm -hmm. is the one that unpiles this thing, mm -hmm. there are still like um what eight people with us since this thing can hold twelve people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, there's a couple of security guys. They make a, you know, they run straight for the life raft. There's a few people that are kind of floating in midair, you know, and then and then you guys, um, you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. and you know you immediately grab helmets and um, start heading for the life rafts mm -hmm. too. Um, but, uh, one one thing, Steve. So we, uh, I've grabbed some helmets from the security office, right? Yes. Can I put in the double six the fact that this should not take time? I'm not trying to hack or anything. I want to randomly take a solid state drive or something from the rack. I just want to take a solid, uh, like I want to take some recordings from, from there physically. Nobody is going to bat an eye. Um. Except maybe so, the robots. Yeah, I would say if you want to just take some time, it's just going to take you like a minute to I mean, to do I mean, it. Um, I mean, I mean, while Lucas does that, I will be like helping some of the people that are floating to catch them to bring them back down to try and keep yeah. them afloat so they can get the life raft. Because if he's going to do that, I'm just going to help some people to make it look like I'm a part of this and everything. I, I care about the employees. It's like mm -hmm. I have to be like, God damn it, Lucas. Now I have to actually help people. <laughs> okay, let's so Anna, are you gonna help? Or uh, are you gonna because you see what they're doing? I'm okay. You know, he kind of points at the like the hard drives. He's like, we we gotta like wipe our fingerprints, you know. What are the robots doing? Just to... they're they're like actually they're trying to help. Like they're like they're like citizens stay calm, you know. And like I think that they just they see one they see a group like go into the security office and start grabbing helmets, and then they see people floating, and then they're trying to like grab people. You know. Well, okay. I mean, if if they're there where they can't see us, it's like yeah. If, if it takes a and if it takes a minute, we'll grab something. But yeah. But then we need to head on over directly. We can grab people along the way, and and or we can we can pull them down and say, "Use you, you use your magnetic boots," you know, that sort of thing like that. Um. Okay. I just wanted to know because if you're helping to do this, it'll be way easier for him. Yeah, I'll yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll help on that. Yes. <laughs> Tessin, or I guess Lynn's in this point just says, "Dave, grab my hand, <laughs> grab my hand, Dave." <laughs> yeah. So okay, let's do a skill chain. So um I guess Tessin I can do my athletics for this, like I did with yeah. the child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, do I do I help the person? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to grab somebody and then they just kind of slip away. They're like, ah, like start drifting towards the um like out to space. <laughs> well, there goes Dave. <laughs> yeah. Dave. Um, okay, okay so Anna, I'm... or 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 whoever whoever's next. Um so I think that's one. So is that's that's a minus two, right? Isn't it? Okay, well, I mean, is he doing it's the same thing? I I I I don't understand. I he's trying to help people get people down, and I'm trying to help get the uh the solid state drive or whatever. Are we doing is this part of the same thing or two separate things? Um, it's like he's trying to make it look like you, you know, belong like in this um office, you know, or whatever that you aren't um doing what you're doing, which is like trying to wipe your fingerprints, you know? Or mm -hmm. hurriedly rush into the place. It's like, oh look, we actually work and care about these people. We're trying to help oh, them. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna. Use, I can do. I can do the computers, uh, yeah. and uh, use the uh, plus uh, the plus one or whatever from the. Uh, uh, the uh, yeah. My, so if you're trying yeah. to get into the security footage and like wipe the data, then I would say that counts as like hacking. So you can do it. Um, 
just flat, like just use your computer skill because you have a negative two because Tessin just like let go of somebody and like was okay. trying to help. And then they like just started floating away and they're freaking yeah, but, out. But remember my, uh, my uh, thing has like a plus two to intrusion. I'm assuming that trying to wipe files is intrusion. Yeah, but it's, um, okay. it's, it, they call it a, a skill chain where it's like, okay, I'm doing this thing. And then whether or not they succeed or not, you get either a flat or a bonus or a negative or, or to your ball, next. Or or ball, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not saying say that. So uh, uh, we got a, minus, got a minus from that. But then would I mm -hmm. get a plus two from my yeah. equipment? So that cancels it out to a straight thing. Okay, got it. Yeah, All so right. it's just straight. Yeah. Okay. So don't, so yeah, so it would just be a straight roll, straight computer roll. So while Anna deletes the backups or something, I'm grabbing physical hardware like I'm not hacking mm -hmm. it, like I want to actually put it in my toolbox. Mm -hmm. that, that's okay. what I intended from the beginning. Like I'm not going to, because hacking and all of this computer manipulation takes actual time and I just want to grab, nobody's going to notice this. Mm -hmm. Like it's so, it, the chaos is like, I'm at a shopping spree and I'm just picking racks from this, uh, I'm picking hard drives from this rack mm -hmm. and I'm just putting them in my, uh, in my toolbox. So uh, mm -hmm. is that a strength or a dexterity based thing? Um, yeah, I would say if you're just grabbing hard drives and trying to rip them out, you could either do strength or if you want to do um, mechanic. You do mechanical. Mechanical. Yeah. Uh, I wipe the current it's... information. You grab anything that's stored. Yeah. Uh, I guess I would ask, like, since um, I, since I don't kind of want this guy to go out to space, um, after like Lucas does his thing, can I like try and do a straight strength roll to see if I can just grab him that way? <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. But let 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 um. Yeah. Let Lucas do. Yeah, let's see what Lucas gets first. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay. Do you have Do you have mechanic? I can't remember. I don't. <laughs> okay, I thought you had mechanic. Never mind. Okay. Um, it's going to be a strength, I believe. Yeah, you could just do a straight strength roll. Oof. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So that's two successes. So uh, basically, you're like. I am not getting arrested, you know, and you just rip, rip a hard drive like out of the, the thing. Um, while Anna is like, you know, frantically deleting data. Yeah. Um, oh. and I, I, I wiped uh, the current, I wiped the current stuff. He's getting the stuff that's in storage. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, you, so I'm going to say that you successfully wipe your fingerprints, mm -hmm. you know, that, they don't it won't be obvious that you were here that you keep showing up in these places where this there's right, OPA exactly. and explosions. <laughs> yeah. Um so uh yeah what do you what do you want to do now? Well we're gonna get on that we're gonna get on oh, that uh, and get off. Sorry Tessin you wanted to try and save this this person. Yeah, yeah one right? more shot. W one more shot. Let's let's see. Is he lucky enough? <laughs> yeah and you could do vac suit too no <laughs> Oh, I could do well. Vaxuit is better, but mm, I could I try Vaxuit? Yeah, yeah. You can, I'll, I was I was gonna let you use Vaxuit. All right, I'll use Vaxuit then. Uh... <laughs> yeah, your your training kicks in. Like you know exactly what to do in this type of situation, and you just you know like you kind of like jump up, like grab the guy, and then bring him back down. Like activate your boots. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll shout. I'll, I'll that's that my contribution to that is I'll shout is like activate your boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have boots. <laughs> yeah. And uh and and Dave, Dave is okay. He's gonna make it. Um you, you better invite me to his bar mitzvah. <laughs> so these life rafts are quickly oh, filling up though. No. Do you want are you are you making a dash for the lifeboats? Are you sure you don't wanna Pack the juicy, juicy day. Check out what's going on in the lab. And no, no. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I mean, I, I mean, we've got, we've got we've got data. I mean, 
well, I mean, the, the rest of you, do you think this is this worthwhile? I mean, we, we've got data that we can work with here. Uh, and in any case, they're shut down for a while. Okay. What if, what if we, what if we put a pin in it here? Cause it's kind of like that time anyways. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then you can decide, you can take a, decide what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. On the on facility. Pause. Well, the game is on pause. We're great. Yeah. Cliffhanger yeah. ending. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cliffhanger as we're about to get into the fucking lifeboat, <laughs> floaty things. I mean, because it's going to do us absolutely no good to like get the information, then not have a way off the station. So, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's what. They and we've and we've got doors going down all over the place. So yeah. But there are the um. So okay, so you're you're next to the life rafts. You can get on the life rafts, but you did, you know, you spotted all kinds of like escape pods oh, yeah. and stuff and you have your vac suits yeah. so you have air you know you have a, a certain amount of air yeah. you know in your yeah. vac suits in fact like your belter vac suit i for, we forgot to say how much like how much uh it's it's like way longer it's like 12 hours or something yeah you know the vac, the vac suit has a, a approximately um like three hours of air in it depending on like the quality it can have like more than that but i'm pretty sure these are standard vac suits so three yeah. hour air is probably what they have but um but anna anna has a, a belter vac suit as part of her like background then mm -hmm. it should have at least six hours or so of yeah six, okay six hours so yeah well like i said it, now and this okay so if we go to the pod so we're 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 Wanting to be picked up, so. But I guess we can. Um, well, okay, so let's let's start there, people. and then yeah, okay, you can yeah. you can decide. Yeah, you can think yeah. about it. There is chaos. Everything is falling apart again. Again. To be continued. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 we have a lot of continues where things just blow up. It seems so far. It just seems like explosions. Just you know, just follow you around like the. But we didn't know him. <laughs> Jala, I have a surprise. He's, oh, Jala explodes us. It's yeah. the train all over again. <laughs> He's like, I got a surprise for you. You're going to like think, it. It's I, I think we good. found the culprit behind that attack. Uh, to be fair. Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's some theories about the train one that I have cooking in my head because mm -hmm. it's interesting about that one. Yeah. Actually, wait, uh, can I get one? Or can I get one recon roll from somebody? Who has the better recon? Mine is not. That I great. think I've got. Uh, I've got a two. I'm gonna recon so hard okay. right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go on. Okay. So, um, you see that the um the the Zunsu fast merchant is not like it's not immediately like jetting off it's like it's like hanging it's like you know like it 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 de it un undocked and then it's just kind of like sitting there okay so we could use the escape pods and presumably they would pick us up we might ah, make so, some sort of thing ah, so make, uh, if, if we make, <laughs> yeah make some sort of signal to yeah okay Okay. Yeah, and then you All see, right. you see, like, you see, like, Jayla, like, <laughs> or to the, like, towards the facility, not, not towards you guys, but like towards the facility, you know. We got in this. Yes. Yes. Such a net. <laughs> <laughs> fucking estrogen. Fucking <laughs> fox. Oh man, nah, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. And, and frankly, guys. I want to. And, and frankly, it was like uh, Anna wants to know what the hell it was that uh, that uh, May saw that turned her white. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that that was interesting. <laughs> Eyes bulging. She's all just like her, just white, like she saw a fucking ghost. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, ferocious animals. Really, even really ferocious animals. I can't see that turning somebody totally white unless they're scared of animals. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, well, anyways, guys, all I know is that we did it, really guys. Hard. We saved the day. I mean, everything's on fire and exploding, but we did it. <laughs> we saved them. <laughs> we saved the day. We did it, guys. We're the good guys. We're Sonic heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, right, well, a... my, my uh my dog is crying, so I'm gonna let him out. Ooh. But um that's yeah. fun. Uh so are you are you guys are are you guys enjoying this though? Or do you like the story? Yeah, yeah, 